All right, with the Haas foot ascender, um, it's incredibly strong, well built. And I cannot imagine how difficult it is to do all of this splicing. There's some amazing splicing. One thing I didn't like about it is this foot loop. It wasn't real comfortable on my foot. I haven't used it that much, but uh, it is an incredible, an incredible tool. And now that they've come into version two, that's going to eliminate this whole foot loop and connect to the boot. That's even better. The way that the Haas works is if you were to take your knee ascender, you need to get about a 17 or a, a 17 inch step if you want to have a, a knee ascender work properly. The way that this works is if you were to just take a bungee and attach, attach it to the pop, top of an ascender, you're only going to get about this much movement. And going from here to there is just not a reasonable step. And so what happens is the bungee is buried through, I suppose, a plastic tube of some sort. And it attaches down here in the berry of the 10x. So now you get that much stretch. So you're going from here clear out to here, which now is a whole footstep. So that's the basic design of the Haas is that... You're taking advantage of this much bungee cord from here all the way to here. That gives you enough stretch to make a full step. Great tool. I think there's some easier ways to construct this. And I am just making the suggestion to those that build this. I don't want to compete with anybody. I think it's a great idea. If somebody wants to use it in the manufacture of this, then, and if that works for them, great. If it's a bad idea and they don't want to use it, I understand that too. Okay. Without the foot loop attached, assuming I'm able to connect this to those Arb Pro boots, this is all I would have. And it could easily fit in a ditty bag or even in my pocket if I wanted to. It's not much larger than the Ascender itself. Again, inside here needs to have some rigidity so that this 10x doesn't just compress when you take a footstep and the bungee has to uh, push the 10x and the ascender up the rope. This is a prototype and it's a little sloppy, but it's just a prototype. But I think it's a much simpler method of constructing and less expensive way of constructing this. Currently, I have my Yates, I've adapted my Yates foot loop, and I like the Yates foot loop here, but eventually that will be separated and use the Arb Pro uh, boot that has uh, Eric's uh, loop on there, which would be fantastic. So essentially, eventually this could be just that much, but right now I still have the Yates foot loop on here. I've made some adaption to it. I've cut out some of that material so that when my foot is in there I still have more contact with the branch but the wideness of this uh, of this strap makes it much more comfortable for your arch. The uh, Yates foot loop has some elastic in there. It would be easy enough to sew one of these up but um, that makes it a nice comfortable foot loop and uh, like I said, if you uh, cut away some of that material, you still have the comfort of the full strap, but you have a lot more contact on the branch and um, on your foot when moving about the tree. Rather than using something tubular to house the bungee, although you could use this, what I've taken is some plastic and I've doubled it so that the bungee can ride inside of that double plastic. The plastic provides the compression um, strength so that your bungee or your the tubing, I'm using just some regular uh, web tubular webbing with this plastic housed inside of it. But this plastic keeps it compressing so that when you take a step and the bungee is pushing from here, when the bungee is pushing from here, if you don't have some rigidity inside this it will not force the uh, the ascender up the rope so what I've assembled is sewed 
that plastic inside the tubular webbing and I don't have an industrial sewing machine. If I did, these would be really easy to make because all you have to do is do the sewing on both sides, put the tubing in there, and then I have a double bungee going through there to make an adjustment when a particular person has this and wants to make their own adjustment it'd be really easy to pull the double bungee back down here put a put a uh, stopper knot on here and make your own adjustments all I've done is girth, girth hitched the bungee to a small keychain carabiner at the top when I've got it at my length depending on what I connect it to this way it's a uh, very very easy to adjust and personalize but you can see again right here you get the full length of enough enough bungee action to make the full step and the compression will allow that ascender to move up the rope but it's really easy to uh, sew and what I could do without this uh, foot loop on the bottom is just put a, um, a loop here so that I can attach it with a carabiner to my boot when I do get those really cool Arb Pro boots that are coming out that will have the strap integrated into the boot. Alright, so uh, before I go out and show how this works in the tree, this is basically when you take your step, it just takes to have enough rigidity in here that it pushes that ascender up the tree. So each time you take a step, that ascender just goes up and then you're good to you're good to step down on the ascender. On my next build, I'm just going to take some strapping and I'll sew that to a CT uh, sender. This is a twist. I like them much better than the Petzl. They're better on the rope. But once I sew that to the ascender, then it's just a matter of sewing this to the tubular webbing. And then I take my plastic that provides the compression that will be buried inside the tubing and then inside that tubing is fed the bungee cord and it comes out on the bottom both ends come out the bottom so that you can make an adjustment down here once it's uh, individualized the adjustment to the length can be down here plus if the bungee ever breaks or needs to be replaced it's very easy to open this up and replace the bungee and then at the bottom I will have a carabiner sewed into the loop and that will make a nice little clip to uh, fasten to those new Arb Pro boots when those come out.